Hello friends, my name is Francis Isibo. Welcome to Yahweh to Face. This is our daily podcast where we um, kind of, uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit, unveil the glory, the wisdom, the power that is shining from the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. There's something about power. I remember um, from the book of Acts when uh, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ were seen of Jesus. Uh, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom back to Israel? <laughs> he just laughed and said, you guys don't know anything. He said, it's not in your power to uh, determine what God has proposed in his power. That, those things are private to him. But one thing he said, he said, uh, go and tarry in Jerusalem. Wait until the promise of the Father. That is the promise of the Holy Spirit. Um, if our Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit, it means that the Holy Spirit is of great essence. It's of great need. The Godhead need the Holy Spirit to perform any activity that they want to perform. You can see that play out in the book of Genesis where it says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then he said that the earth was without form and darkness was upon the face of the deep. But it said something. It said that the Spirit of God was hovering above the waters. It was brooding. Now, waiting for the voice of the command from the Father. And then the Father said, let there be light. Immediately, boof, there was light. So it means that for anything to happen, the Word, the Father, and the Spirit must be involved in it. Praise the Lord. Now, in our own life, because we are being invited into the fellowship of the Godhead, we also cannot do anything without the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm. That's why Jesus Christ told his disciples, that you guys have to wait. You have to go into a moment and the time of prayer and the time of tiring, the time of waiting, so that the Holy Spirit can be released by the Father. And before that time, he told them, he said, look, it is very important for me to go to the Father. If I don't go to the Father, the Holy Spirit will not come. So it means that the Father cannot release the Holy Spirit without the assurance of Jesus Christ by his right side or by his right hand of majesty on high. Praise the Lord. So the, our Lord Jesus Christ had to go back to the Father so that the Father would release the Holy Spirit. Now, if you have been listening to our podcast, you would hear me say and talk about the Holy Spirit all the time. Why? It's because by the mercies of God, God has been able to show me Just a little bit, a little pinch of the wisdom of relying on the Holy Spirit. If ever you want to get to your final destination, which is sonship, you must know that you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the only one that has the access into the Father. He is the one that has the access into the bosom of the Father. He is the one that will bring out those things that pertain to Christ. Jesus Christ said that, He will not speak of himself, but rather he will take those things that are mine and he will show them to you. So which means that the Holy Spirit is an unveiler. He's the major revelator, if if I can be allowed to say that. He's the one that reveals the Father. He's the one that reveals Christ. Hallelujah. So we must know, for us to fully understand the Godhead, for us to fully understand Christ, for us to fully learn of Christ, for us to be able to teleport the image of the Father into our lives. We have to give access, respect, honor, willingness to yield to the Holy Spirit so that he can be able to do his assignment. Jesus Christ has warned us not to mess with the Holy Spirit because he is the Spirit that does not contend with anyone. You remember what God was saying? In the book of Genesis chapter 6, he said, my spirit will no longer strive with men. Mm. You see, he doesn't like to strive with men. He just wants a willing heart. And that's why the book of Hebrews tells us that 
Anytime you hear of this word, you say, harden not your heart. Like in the days of provocation, when my people did tempt me and test me and really grieved me, angered me. Of course, see what they ended up as. The uh, carcasses were littered up all over the whole wilderness. Praise the Lord, but that is not our call. Our call is to receive the Holy Spirit. Our call is to respect the Holy Spirit. Our call is to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us because he will lead us into all truth. He will lead us into sonship. He will lead us through the paths of righteousness. He will unveil the Father to us. And he will give us our full inheritance. Praise the Lord.